This tutorial is going to discuss using the Align tool in AutoCAD. The Align tool is a great way to match up uh, line work or images with very specific points on your drawing. In this case, we're going to do this through inserting an image uh, that's going to be a sketch of this site. A lot of our sketching or designing is done by hand. We'll scan that image in and then insert it into AutoCAD for us to be able to draft our digital line work and refinement on top of that image. So the first thing we're going to do here is insert our raster image into the scene. There are two places to insert. You might notice in the ribbon that you also have an attach button here where you can attach images. I'm going to close down the ribbon and then actually use the insert raster image reference and select the image that I want to insert here. We're just going to accept the defaults, click our insert point, and then click our image into the scene. And one of the first things I do when inserting an image is to double click on the frame and turn down the intensity of that image. We do that through sliding the fade from minimum up to about 50%. You'll notice that we can now see a little better on top of this. What we're going to do at this point is use the align tool to align this sketch up with our existing line work already in AutoCAD. There are two ways to use the align tool. The first is to specify two alignment points from the image and of my case to somewhere in the drawing and then to scale the entire image based on those two alignment points. The other way to use the alignment tool is to select three alignment points and what this does, it doesn't give you the option to scale the image but it gives a more precise alignment. So in our case we absolutely need to scale the image so we're just going to use two alignment points. So we'll do that we'll first by selecting the image and then typing in align. And ask us in our command line to specify the first source point and to do that I'm going to click this building right in this corner. We'll then specify where that point needs to go by clicking the end point here. We'll next specify the second source point and it's best to choose one that's on the opposite side of the image. In my case I'm going to try to find where this curb would be if the lines were sort of extending straight forward. We'll then turn off my snaps or my ortho in this case and then find about where that point would be in my scene. At this point it's going to say specify a third source point or continue. In my case I'm just going to hit spacebar for continue. This will then prompt me to scale the objects based on the alignment points. The default is no, but I'm going to change uh, my answer to yes by typing Y and then spacebar. We'll see that it scans the image or scales the image up to roughly the size that I'm looking for. The image right here is in front of all my line work. To send it to the back, I'll click on the image frame with a left click. I'll right click on it, go to draw order, and then send to back. And we can see it mostly gets into the position that I need it to. There might be some adjustments that you'll need to make based on your sketching if it isn't as precise as the line work that you currently have in AutoCAD. Now as mentioned the third way or the second way to align something is through three source points. We'll demonstrate that right here. In this case we might say this point seems about right. What I'm going to do is just click here and then click one right next to it. This point seems good but let me look down here. We've got one more. I'm going to stick this point over here we might come to our road right here and get it a little closer to the curb. It'll take those three points, try to find a, an average of the three and align that uh, image roughly where it meets the demands of all three of those points. Now as stated earlier, the align tool isn't just about aligning images. We can align line work with other line work uh, and that works best when you're aligning grouped objects together. And you can even scale them much like we scaled it in the first instance or just align three points and try to get it uh, in the best possible position based on those three points as we showed in the second example. This becomes a great tool for combining different sets of line work or uh, certainly in a design workflow where you're taking sketches, scanning them in, and beginning to digitize them in AutoCAD.